Today's January the 3rd, and it's the start of a new year, so I wish everybody out there the best. Now, of course, we all know I have a love for waterfowling, and again, I've said this before, and I've posted about it before, but take a look at these, legs and thighs of a goose. I preach about it because so many people throw these away. I'm going to show you how to cook that in a slow cooker. I want to show you the final product. And I guarantee you, if you just try it, if you just save the legs and thighs of every goose you shoot, and it'll make a most fabulous meal. But you got to give it a try. Stay tuned. So when I'm cooking up my goose thighs and legs, I do it just like I do my roast chickens. I cut up all the same vegetables, with the exception is I'll use my chicken broth. Look at those tasty morsels. Now at this point, you could cover them in your favorite barbecue sauce, shake and bake, throw them in the oven, or just eat them plain like that.